welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel and another what i eat in a day i'm currently trying to do body recomp which is like a slight caloric deficit um but still trying to hit those protein goals so for my pre-workout i had some bcaas and a vegan blueberry buckle that i made for breakfast i had a raspberry chia seed chocolate pudding this was good y'all usually not usually this is my first time ever having it <laughs> and i don't usually like chia seeds but it was pretty good and it was insanely filling like that's a lot of pudding y'all that's a lot of pudding I had a buffalo jackfruit quesadilla. I'm adding some rinsed and drained jackfruit to a pan on medium heat with some avocado oil in it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of water to this and I like keep adding water throughout this whole process. You could also use veggie chicken broth or just veggie broth, um, but this is gonna help it cook all the way through and get like more tender. Also with that, I just added whatever seasonings I wanted. So here's some veggie uh, chicken bouillon powder. Um, of course, you know we gotta have that onion powder, that garlic powder, period, cumin. You already know the vibes. If you ever wanna know like how to get that Hispanic flavor, you need your cumin, you need your chili powder. That's really the main flavor, so don't forget them, okay? But you wanna season it how you want it to taste. And you want to keep seasoning it also like throughout the whole process after I seasoned this and I stirred it up the first time I made sure that I was tasting it as I went so I stirred it up and then I put a lid on it and I left that to cook down for a couple of minutes This is what it looked like after I took the lid off and it was actually cooking too fast so I made sure to add a little bit more liquid to it and let that cook down to get my desired flavor and texture as well. This is what I ended up going with in the end as you can see look at that. Then I took some buffalo style hummus and spread that on a tortilla that I added to a pan with more avocado oil. And I just let that heat up on one side for a second and then I add in the jackfruit and I flip that over. Y'all know how to make a quesadilla. Come on now, y'all know what to do. I even let my students have a piece that I broke off of it and they were like what what is this this ain't chicken I'm like nah baby that's jackfruit y'all already know the vibe well, this is perfect to prep I still had some like jackfruit meat left over um I just put that to the side that I can use for burrito bowls or tacos or another quesadilla For dinner, I had a butternut squash curry, and I'm like, why? You really gotta fight with butternut squash. It should not be that hard to cut. But I pretty much cut the squash into cubes um, that can cook down easily. You can peel your squash. It actually will probably make it easier. I don't peel mine, I'm kinda lazy. <laughs> that's the size I went with. Then I also chopped up an onion to add to the pot, and that's pretty much all the prep that you have to do for this recipe. I love this recipe. It's really good, really simple. Bada bing, bada boom, da bam, whatever, uh, what's that rapper? Whatever Busta Rhyme said. <laughs> then I added some coconut oil to a pan, also on, this could be like a medium high heat. And I let that melt down. Then I started to add my seasonings. For your curry, it's important that you fry the seasonings. Fry, not burn. Don't burn them. But you do want to fry them. You want to fry your seasonings in that oil until they become fragrant and start to bubble a little bit. So I added in my seasonings, fried them for a while, and started to stir them continuously just to make sure that they got infused with not only each other, but with the oil as well. After they were thoroughly mixed, I went ahead and added the butternut squash and the onions to this oil seasoning mixture. <laughs> and I tossed that together. 
And you wanna make sure all these pieces are coated because this is where your flavor is coming from. After the squash has cooked down a little bit, I added in some veggie broth and then I'm gonna put a lid on this and pretty much let it simmer until the squash is as tender as you want it. Then I forgot to record this part or I don't know where the clip went, but I added in part of a can of whole fat coconut milk and a couple of handfuls of spinach. And after you add that spinach in, you're gonna make sure that you stir it all around. Yeah, get that, mix it all up. <laughs> until your spinach is wilted and essentially the curry is heated all the way through again. Ooh, look at that, y'all. This is so good and so simple. Like, I kind of want to make this right now. After dinner for dessert, I had some dates stuffed with almond butter and topped with sea salt. Oh, that's so good and so simple, y'all. I love dates. Can't believe I'm doing this in this whole time. For breakfast the next day, I just made some avocado toast um, and I used Ezekiel bread as my base. It's like a sprouted whole grain bread. It's a little dry though. That's the only downside. <laughs> I mashed an avocado onto one piece of toast and seasoned it up just how I wanted to and added the tomatoes on top. And then on the other slice of toast, I added almond butter and some cinnamon. With that, I had this orange rooibos tea from Trader Joe's. This is so good, y'all. Like, I've been drinking it hot, but I'm like, ooh, this is about to go crazy iced for the summer. Like, it's about to go up. And I had it in my huge mug. <laughs> for lunch this day, I partially had leftovers, but I cooked up a Trader Joe's salmon patty. Um, yeah, I just sauteed it till it was cooked, added some Chinese five spice to it and continue to cook that up. And then I added that on top of some leftover stir fried green bell peppers, onions, and carrots. And I added that to a little bit of rice with some sesame seeds. To round out the day, I had a black bean burger. And this was just really to show myself that I can eat what I enjoy and what I like even while trying to recount my body. Thanks y'all for watching. And I hope y'all found the recipe y'all wanna try. Bye. <laughs>